啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。Meet Audrey, a little girl who just had an epiphany, sometime between 9:21 and 9:23. Now she's wishing to forget this thing and growing a little weary. But it's no use; it's already begun, so Audrey won't sleep. It all started last Tuesday on her birthday with her great aunt. Who shook with joy as she gave her fateful gift? A common house plant. As always, Audrey smiled and tried to be polite and nice, but deep down was sad and wished she'd had a pretty dress instead. As the week passed. The plant sat on the sill, fighting to survive, but the sun was too strong, and it was too thirsty. So, alas, it died. She said goodbye as she dug a small grave out back and buried it. Then started to think. She'd given it a little water to drink. This tragic thought followed Audrey into her sleepless room, and as her mother tucked her in, this little thought began to bloom. A profound idea, floating, flipping, insisting in her head. A realization that one day. Her delicate mother would be dead. Her skin will sag. Her hair turn grey. Her breasts will droop. She develop a hunch, lose all her teeth, and only be able to eat soup. <gasps> Then, being old and decrepit, she'll finally walk towards the light. Like a dying ember, she'll sputter her last words. Audrey suddenly remembered her uncle Larry, who choked on a spoon, and began to fear that her mother, dear, could go too soon, possibly on a prune. Her mother wore such beautiful clothes that Audrey worried. If she went traipsing through the shadowy woods, her elegant bonnet might be mistaken for a moose. Audrey tried to remember if her mother was allergic to bees, and when the plague was, and if it was caused by rats or fleas. Audrey told herself she's just being silly imagining these things. And forced her mother to float on a cloud like an angel with wings, but still, Audrey couldn't help but think of poor mother, plummeting. Death was coming. This much Audrey knew. Perhaps from a thug intent on bludgeoning her through. It could happen in the park, being mauled by a bear. Or perhaps she was strangled by her long, beautiful hair. Or by some poison slipped quietly into her drink, or be devoured by the monster living in the bathroom sink. Or slipping on a stair, or eating raw egg, or drinking too much of a keg. Burning alive could be the worst way to go. Or stabbed by a foe. Or by an axe, or 
storm, or baked, or pickled, or squished. Panic struck Audrey sometime past a quarter to three. She crawled out of bed and crept down the hall to see if her mother was already sleeping below the shade tree. The door creaked and seeing mother's feet Audrey knew she was sawed in half. But she wasn't and Audrey laughed at being so rash. But still, she needed to know if her mother was among the living. She placed the mirror below her nose. She was breathing. Audrey leaned in close and whispered softly into her ear, but could hardly speak. Too afraid death was near. Being unhappy and sad, she decided she had to leave this place to always remember the mother's young face. And so Audrey ran away. Quietly slipped out the back door. But something stopped her. It was the plant that had shook her to the very core. It was hard to make out. But lo, through the dirt pushed a delicate green sprout. Taking it tenderly in her trembling hands, she began to feel a change inside. She gathered up its one little root and carefully took it for a ride. At 3.03, Audrey had another epiphany. And suddenly she understood an idea drifting, sifting, lifting her heart to always see 